Welcome. My name is Richard James. I'm a volunteer for the Santa Cruz County Park System. I'm a docent here at Quail Hollow Ranch County Park, and I've become the historic docent for this park, and I've learned an awful lot of information that I would really like to share with you. Prior to the Spanish coming to this area, this valley was occupied by the Ohlone. This was a prime area for Ohlone culture. There was a village located a little to the southeast of us along Zioni Creek that uh, is now archaeologically known. During the gold rush era uh, in the 1850s, uh, Central and Northern California suffered uh, over uh, timbering of its forests and a lot of the forest you see now was clear cut out of here. And the first pair of what I like to call ghosts of the past are Joseph and America, spelled with a K, Canville and the Southern Pacific put a rail stop in for them. That really gave Joseph Kenville and Quail Hollow Ranch a leg up uh, on ranching and farming. The next owner was Emil Grunig and his wife Jeannie. Uh, Emil is uh, interesting. He was a uh, judge from Southern California. That was all a vegetable garden. He, the lawn area here was a vegetable garden. He put in a large concrete and cement rectangular pond, which is now gone out here in the front yard, to furnish more water for this area. The name Quail Hollow Ranch that we have now was established by Larry Lane, the fourth owner. Then in 1947, Larry Lane with Sunset Magazine uh, rebuilt this complete area into, at the time, very modern barns and stable area that uh, he felt was uh, equal and comfortable space for both man and horses. Yeah, we're going to go back to Ruth Lane who complained that she wanted to be with the family when she made meals and felt that, that if she was in a separate area cooking food, she couldn't share some of the things that the family had to say. So this is an open kitchen and all it, that uh, divides the kitchen from the dining room is this island right here. Mm -hmm. 